three dozens of pants five dozens of pants hundred pants please come with them but you know just be careful so you don't buy too much because <laughs> in case you begin to add weight so that the pants will not start to tear you get <laughs> Hi guys, this is Niela and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing what um, what you can bring from Nigeria to Canada. Canada. So if you recently got your PR and you're trying to get your things together so you don't end up carrying what they are going to throw away when you get here keep watching and don't go anywhere so guys i'm going to be sharing this video into two different parts make sure you stay tuned to when the second part drops so one of the parts one part is going to be the essential things and the other part is going to be for the food stuff what and what food stuff you're going to carry but for this video we're going to be talking about the essential things you need to bring first and foremost you need to come with your passport you cannot be making an international trip without your passport. Like, how is that going to work? So you need your passport and you need your yellow card because you're going to be laying over in an African country. And so even if you're flying with Ethiopian, Ethiopian airline or you're flying with Egypt Air, and you're going to need to present your yellow card alongside your passport at their border. You get all to the custom or to the immigration of that country. So... Um, that is the first thing then the second thing you need to put in your hand luggage is your copr so if you are a if you're landing as a permanent resident in canada you should come with your copr is very important they give you two copr one is supposed to be for you and one is supposed to be for the canadian government so come with that put that with your passport also come with your flight tickets if you actually you know have a printed ticket you should put that as well but whenever you get to the airport even if you booked online just like the way you know I did I got to the airport and they printed the ticket for me you should also have that in your hand luggage you also need your, your yeah your certificate that's what I mean your BSc certificate whatever academic qualification you have acquired in your time in nigeria before you eventually relocate you should come with that if they are all in hard copy you need those then you also need to come with your birth certificate i don't know how important that is but you also need to come with your birth certificate just pack that alongside your educational qualification certificate together so you don't you know end up missing them that's for the documents i don't know if i'm missing anything again um I was supposed to write this down, but <laughs> I actually forgot. So, guys, okay, in case I remember anything, I'm going to go back, you know, over it. Then the next thing I'm going to talk about are gadgets. You need a phone, but somehow, some people are unlucky when they land. Their phones are not even compatible with the country or with Canada. So, if you are using a Samsung phone, I'm sure Samsung phones are compatible with, you know, Canada if you're using like an iPhone you're good and I think if you're using a one phone the one phone or one I think is also compatible but some of these um other phones like Infinix maybe the newer models may actually be useful here in Canada I am not sure so you can do your research or ask people who use that phone and also have landed in Canada so guys in addition to having phones that would actually work here in canada i would also advise that you get these chargers that have detachable heads like the heads are detachable from the cord itself what do i mean if you have chargers that the cords are joined together i advise you to get the ones that are detachable why because these are the kind of charger heads or charger pins that work with the kind of sockets you find here in canada so if your charger doesn't have this kind of pin i would advise you to buy this head and buy detachable usb cords that will fit in your charging port so that you don't come here and you become stranded and you are, you're not able to charge your phone and you begin to spend your proof of phone to get a charger to charge your phone then another thing you can come with our gadgets are also your laptops as well the same thing with the charging 
support or charging pin ensure that your chargers have this kind of mount it wouldn't cost you anything to go to computer village take your char your laptop and look for the kind of pin the kind of pin that will fit or the kind of pin the kind of pin that will fit into your charger your charging port of the of your laptop that has this kind of pin on the charger so, yes i have mentioned laptops then another gadget you need to come with if you have headphones you can come with your headphones trust me you need them in your aircraft whatever you know flight you're booking you're going to need it in the aircraft while you are traveling because <laughs> the journey is long oh, it's very very long and another thing you need to come with is come with a power bank you are going to be traveling in the afternoon of a day and arriving the morning the morning of another day in another country which means for canada now it's it is plus six hours so you're going to be arriving like almost in the afternoon of your own home country time time zone so that's about 24 hours and by if you count the taking of pictures and chatting trying to get um reach your people at home that you have bothered and all that and the music you're going to be listening in with your phone you will need your power bank to charge your phone in the aircraft just before you land and you also need your power bank as well to charge while you're walking around and trying to sort yourself you know as soon as you land at the airport so now that we have settled gadgets and documents let's move over to clothes i know a lot of people people actually advised me say no don't buy any winter jacket though there's nothing that can withstand the cold in canada yes they are right but please there are also places where you can get affordable and nice winter jacket that can hold you up at least the first few days or the first few weeks you land before you begin to spend money to buy winter jacket i got my winter jacket in lagos island I would um, try to drop the contact of the person for people who are interested and it wasn't so expensive you know I got my winter jacket for, for 5,000 or 5,500 or thereabouts and so far so good it has been able to hold me up pretty well probably in another video I'm going to be showing you what my winter jacket looks like it's actually downstairs I can't go and get it now so yes if you are uh, lucky to find a place where they sell good winter jackets fine and good you can try katankawa market you can try lagos island they also sell good winter jackets in yaba as well it's just for you to know the ones that are good and again if you want to get one in nigeria before coming try and look out for the ones that have fleece in them or fours because those fours can actually or fleece can actually keep you warm you know before the outer you know garments that was used or the outer fabric so for the inside make sure it's fleece covered or it's four covered inside that four or fleece fabric or material or garments can actually keep you warm so i'm just saying i'm not saying i'm not disputing the fact that yes nothing you buy in nigeria can withstand the cold here it is pretty cold here no doubt but if you find good winter jackets that can hold you up few weeks after you land trust me you will want to save that money that few weeks then another thing you want to get for clothing is also please come with jeans if you come with clothes I don't... come with dresses that you can wear to attend interviews and also to work so not just jeans it's winter currently in canada and clothes that you will come with are nobody will see them I'm actually wearing something light because I am facing the window and the sun is actually keeping me warm just a tiny bit but you can come with clothes but don't come with too many clothes what do I mean you can come with your jeans if you like come with a dozen of jeans it's fine because you're going to need to wear jeans you're going to need to wear jeans if you have track suits come with them the ones that are thick you can wear those ones to sleep at night because it's pretty cold no matter how high the heater is cold has a way of seeping through the windows <laughs> and through the walls into the house so you can come with um, track suits or pull pull ups or pullovers i don't know whatever those those kind of um cardigans or um sweat jackets that have hood that also have like the matching bottoms as well you can come with those you can wear them to sleep the hooded jacket you can wear them before you wear your winter jackets as well and most winter jackets are also hooded so 
um another thing i want to mention is for girls please come with your own these on these are like a zillion box in this place so buy all your bras if you can come with a dozen of bra more than a dozen of bra please come with them if you can come with three dozens of pants five dozens of pants hundred pants please come with them but you know just be careful so you don't buy too much because <laughs> in case you begin to add weight so that the pants will not start to tear you get <laughs> <laughs> anyways come with your undies come with your makeup products and please check in your makeup products do not put them in your hand luggage if not <laughs> it's not going to follow you across nigerian border not even talk of rich canada with you so come with your makeup products the ones that you know you can you will not find because like, i remember when i was trying to repurchase some foundations for myself i wanted to go buy like maybelline and other um international brands and i'm like no i'm going to find those products easily here let me go come and buy the nigerian brands i know that i'm not going to see here at all so come with bring makeup products that you know you may not easily find here in nigeria um here in canada sorry so come with your makeup products come with um coconut oil come with shea butter it's very very important even if you're not landing in winter you're going to be needing it someday yes you're going to be needing it someday come with your creams your shampoo whatever it is you use in nigeria at least come with them for so that you don't get to spend so much money for a period of one to three months because i'm not saying you should come with a lot of soap the weather can decide to change your, your skin and you begin to react with some of those things you came with from nigeria so something that can last you a period of like a few months before you settle in and you know get a job and begin to earn in dollars so you can actually spend in dollars so come with your for the girls that said come with your own this then what else can i say come with your handbags if you have handbags please bring them i'm not a fan of big handbags so i bought um these trap bags they are very cute and small so those are the kind of bags i like to carry i don't like to carry big handbags so if you're a fan of handbags bring your designer bags bring them in you're going to be very useful for you trust me they're going to be very 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 useful if you have scarves Thick scarves you can come with them they're going to be useful for you in winter um come with your shoes but if you're coming in winter coming with your shoes may not really make much of a difference why because you may end up not wearing any of them you're going to be wearing just winter boots then if you can buy a winter boot because i actually bought a winter boot from nigeria before coming you know over here so you can buy one or two you can wear one of them when you're coming so that it doesn't you know it reduces the amount of weight of whatever it is you're going to be carrying i wore one of the ones i was coming with and the other one had to be in the check-in bag so if you have enough space and money come with buy winter boots you will find winter boots in nigeria something that has fleece or fur inside so that you can keep your feet warm during the winter and also try to buy something that has a grip on the snow because the snow can be very slippery so you don't fall so like you know the way timberland boots are and the undersole are really really they have like large teeth let me put it that way so they have like a very firm grip to the ground so when you're looking out for winter boots make sure you buy those kind of boots that have a firm grip to the ground not the ones that are very smooth under the sole so that you don't slip and fall and also ones that have like fur or fleece in them so that it can keep you warm during the winter please buy a lot of socks buy a lot of socks even if it may not work here but just buy a lot of socks you can find them in yaba i saw a lot of them in yaba before i came here thick socks very thick and long because most of the socks i bought were like ankle length because i, I felt like okay i was going to be wearing jeans but it got to a point where the ankle length was just you know sliding into the shoe and my shoe started giving me blisters because my shoe was rubbing against my dry skin so instead of giving me blisters so please come with long socks thick long socks you're going to need it and when you're buying boots please don't buy boots that are too firm that are your correct size you can buy a size higher because by the time you wear your thick socks it's going to fit and number two you're going to be wearing your boots everywhere you get so try to buy something that is not so tight so that you don't start feeling uncomfortable after two three five minutes you wear your boots but before i forget to mention you can come with um 
razor blades you can come with cutting boards you can also come with drugs that you know you will need you know you can come with the panadol paracetamol you can come with purging drugs because <laughs> you may not start to um enjoy or you may not start to eat your nigerian meals as soon as you land so maybe for a few days your body system may try to get used to the canadian food you may also need to buy those drugs you may need to buy a tetracycline in case you are purging you may need to buy drugs to purge in case you haven't used the toilet as soon as you land so the essentials you can even come with cough syrup because if you're landing in winter a lot of the most you know common sickness or illness people have especially people coming from nigeria is flu cough cold and kata because the weather is 100 percent totally different from our weather back home in nigeria so you can also come with your wigs please come with wigs come with wigs come with wigs any kind of wigs braided short long coily straight come with your wigs they are very important you will need wigs if you are a girl come with your hair essentials because you cannot go and start buying things as soon as you land you will need your proof of fund for something better then come with a boniki is also important because <laughs> the weather is not your friend though come with a balm a boniki balm is one of the most common ones you would find even in pharmacies in the market and in shops come with an aboniki balm then come with bathroom slippers is very very important you can buy these very fanciful crocs kind of slippers that is raining in nigeria you can buy those ones come with lip balms very very essential especially if you're landing during winter because you wouldn't want your lips <laughs> to be cracking and you'll be seeing plenty plenty blood around your lip so come with a lip balm if you can so i think that is all i have on this video i think that is all i can say on this part the second part i'm going to be uploading it pretty soon don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video comment and share with your friends i'll see you all in my next video do have a fabulous 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 day ahead guys love you all bye